it's Laura from Feel Fresh Skincare here with another herb that you can use in making your own fresh skincare. But today's herb is Alchemilla, otherwise known as Lady's Mantle. Now I'm here in my garden um, and here in this, um, this is the lovely lady herself, Alchemilla Mollis. Alchemilla is a beautiful soothing herb to use. You can... Now the parts to use are these wonderful leaves um, and you can just pick them up um, and use as, as many as you need, probably about um, two, three, four at a time you might use in a recipe. Um, and they are um, lovely, lovely soft leaves. You can also use the flowers when it comes into a flower. Um, this, this plant isn't in flower at the moment, it will be in a, in a few weeks time. Uh, the flowers are um, sort of held aloft on sort of tall slender, uh, slender spikes um, and they're kind of a yellow kind of frothy flower, really, really pretty little thing. Um, now, in gardens you often find um, plant like this Alchemilla mollis planted. There are actually 250 different varieties of Alchemilla. Um, and the ones that you find in the wild are typically Alchemilla vulgaris and that's the one that's used for skincare most often. There's also an Alchemilla alpina, um, the Alpine Alchemilla, which is a wonderful one for skincare. It's a really quiet one but, but we don't find it so often uh, in the UK. Okay. So um, the garden herb, Alchemilla mollis, and the wild herb, Alchemilla vulgaris. I'll go out on a walk another day and, and find the Alchemilla vulgaris. I know where there is some um, locally around here. It's quite abundant. Um, but it's an absolutely wonderful herb for skincare. Um, first of all, let's have a little, little look at it. Um, I mean, its name, um, Alchemilla, comes from the Arabic for little magical one. And that's because of this magical sort of way it has. Uh, can you see trapping? Um, trapping water in its leaves. It's just little bits there, big big droplets actually in, in these leaves and sometimes you come out um, after the rain that we covered um, with lots of little droplets all over it. So um, really really pretty little herb. Um, but its common name is, is Lady's Mantle um, and it is actually a well regarded herb for using for, for ladies problems um, but it, that's not where the lady comes from. The lady comes, the lady in its name comes because of the, the shape of these lovely leaves which were thought to be um, like um, like the pleated folds of a, of a cloak, um, like um, thought to be our lady's cloak. Um, so that's where we get lady's mantle with the name from. Alchem is a lovely herb to use if you've got um, any soreness, some, so sore skin, inflamed, um, any um, minor infections maybe, or if you've got wind burn or sore eyes, you can make an infusion with the Alchemilla leaves um, and that will help soothe um, and just calm things down a little. Um, it can also be used on a regular basis to defend against things like fine lines or large pores even, um, so it helps uh, in defending against acne too. Um, so if you're going to be using Alchemilla, um, think of it as, as a really helpful tool in, in toning and in cleansing. Um, and it's because they, the leaves are astringent, um, so um, they help dry out. It's really good for oily skin. I mentioned that it's a ladies' herb, and it's certainly um, it's traditionally used um, in a decoction for a breast firming cream. Got another chicken coming by now. Hello, girl. This is Cinder. Thankfully. Um, Alchemilla doesn't seem to be a plant that chickens like, otherwise they'd have pecked this away by now. Oh, here comes Sweetie too. There are lots of ways you can use these Alchemilla leaves. Um, just juicing them produces uh, a juice which is quite astringent, so you can use that on its own as a tonic for oily skin. Or otherwise you can take some and pop them in hot water to create an infusion. Um, and once that's strained it makes a lovely facial wash. Um, you might add a little bit of um, witch hazel to that uh, if you've got oily skin. Or you can use that infusion then to add um, if you're creating emulsions and creams. Um, or if you've got sore eyes, you can just simply use the, the infusion and soak cotton wool buds in it and just pop them over your eyes as a kind of compress. And that will help just um, help ease that soreness. Um, it's also possible to use them as well. Some recipes take take the whole leaf and then we'll we'll put that leaf and soak it in warm water. Or I have some recipes where. Um, use actually some sugary water and it's quite a sweet concoction um, and then you can use those leaves um, and just press them under the skin that's one of the ways that um, you work with, with fine lines try and just cover those areas and give them a little tender treatment um, and those, those, and those soaked leaves as well can be used um, on sore breasts that's a handy one to know 
As I said, Alcamilla, um, the one to use in skincare is the one you'll find wild, Alcamilla vulgaris. Um, but if you're interested in having Alcamilla like this um, in your garden, they're really easy to propagate. They quite often just seed themselves anyway and you find them scattering around. Or you can gather the seeds, or also you can um, just divide the plant in autumn um, and share it around with friends. There are lots of recipes showing you how to use Alcamilla in vital skincare in your book. Um, there are recipes showing you how to use it as a tonic for your skin, um, how to use it as an intensive hand treatment, how to use the juice for acne, and also how to use it with buttermilk to make a lovely toning uh, cleanser. Yeah. Alcamilla, lovely favourite, beautiful little plant, so pretty in the garden and really wonderful on your skin. Okay.